If you are juggling multiple client projects, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you kind of a 2.0 version on how I organize client work inside of Trello. Hey y'all, I'm Kat, biz coach and integrator for creatives. Thanks so much for watching this video. I recently did a video on how I juggle multiple client projects and y'all loved it. I've gotten more questions, um, kind of you guys wanting to understand um, exactly what I do, going even further than what I did in that video. So I wanna do that with you guys today. Um, I juggle multiple client projects all the time. 80% of my business is service-based. And so with my integration clients, we are working on launches, digital products, um, streamlining systems and services for our clients. We're, we're juggling a lot of client work from copywriting to graphic design to actually implementing on those things. I also have a mastermind and offer coaching. So again, one-on-one -on -one service base, heavy on the client work. So whether it's for the agency or it's for my coaching clients, I'm constantly working with clients. Therefore, I need a way to streamline those systems so I know exactly what I'm doing <laughs> for all of those client projects and things don't like fall through the cracks. Um, I explained in the recent video that I did, which we'll be sure to link here for you guys, I organize everything in Trello. Um, so I want to kind of walk you through exactly what that looks like within um, my organizational structure on the back end. So if you're not familiar with Trello, I do have a Trello one-on-one -on -one video, kind of walks through some of the basics of Trello, and we'll link that for you guys below too. The great news is Trello is free. So if you're not already using it, you have no reason not to because it's free. So you might as well give it a shot. Um, Trello organizes things through workspaces over here. So as you can see, I have a lot of workspaces. That is my first step when I'm onboarding a new client. The very first thing I'm going to do is if they have a Trello workspace, I get added as an admin to theirs. Or if they don't have a Trello workspace, I'm creating one for them and I will create it with their um, business name and then grab their logo so I can brand it easier for them. Um, uh, as you can see, we've got quite a few client projects here. All of mine um, internal workspaces, I always um, label with KS first. That way it like kind of keeps them all together. Um, and then more client work down here. So I automatically want to create a workspace for each of those clients. This allows me when I log into Trello to very easily see all my clients and then click on the workspace that I need to click on. Now, under some of my own workspaces, I do have a client workspace where I keep some template boards. That way I can duplicate those boards easier and not have to recreate a board from scratch. So let's just click on one of those. If I were to be working on a client launch, I have a template board here that helps me see. Um, I always have a quick grab section first where I've got login information, their website, Google Drive folder, some to-dos that I need to remember, client to-dos that I know I'm going to need, and then kind of working through the the launch process. So I can just um, click here and um, copy the board. And then when I copy the board, I can save it to whatever client I'm creating this for to their workspace. So having template boards in your Trello account that either you've created or templates that you've purchased is going to be a game changer for you and just being able to streamline that process. I do have some template boards in my shop. Um, and so we'll be sure to link that if you you guys are curious about some of the Trello templates that I have available. So once I've created their workspace, so inside of their workspace, there could be, you know, several boards in there. And then I have some clients where we don't have quite as many. So it just sort of depends on the client work that I'm doing. Um, but once I've created their workspace, then the way that I keep track of their to-dos on a regular basis is through my My Week Trello board. So I have one Trello board that, this might look a little crazy, but this acts as my my um, weekly planner. So I come in here and I know like, okay, here's what I'm working on on Mondays, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and every client has a card. So 
on that card, I might give myself like a quick list of like, here's my tangible to do's. And then I know like, okay, I'm working in Julia's business. So I need to go to her workspace in order to get access to the extra boards, workflows, all of the other things that I need there. So my, my week board is like the foundation, the home for all of this. And then it allows me to figure out what I'm doing when throughout the week and then jump into the client workspaces in order to see even more there. And remember, on each of those client workspaces is where I'm going even more in depth with whether it's, you know, working on a launch, whether it's a quick, you know, kind of one-off projects for the client. So many things are stored on all of these boards that just allow me and my team to be able to know exactly what we need for each client in their own space. I hope this was helpful in showing you guys how workspaces tie into kind of utilizing one main board to keep track of that client work. If you guys are watching this and you are working with multiple clients and you're trying to figure out a good system for doing that in Trello and you have questions, leave a comment, like, let me know. I'd love to create some videos specifically based on the comments and the questions you guys are asking. So just ask, let me know, and I'm happy to help.